near mint condition, the home of collected oh, edition. That cover is so awesome. This is Mr. Chris Claremont. A legend. Melanie goes, eat some How's it going, all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And join me today for my overview of the Gurren Lagann archives from Udon Entertainment. So, stay tuned. What we're going to be looking at today is the Gurren Lagann archives. This is an illustration guide. So it's an art book. Love art books. This is published by the folks at Udon Entertainment. And I want to give a huge thank you to the folks at Udon Entertainment for sending us a copy of this particular illustration guide. So here we have the main characters of Simon, Nia, Yoko, and the man right there, Kamina. And how could I forget Buddha? And right there's the Udon logo, Guren Lagan Archives style. And here you have an image of Yoko on the spine, and she's also on the back. And that is a classic. I think that's one of the covers to the DVDs. So yes, in here you're going to see illustrations from posters and DVDs, websites and movie posters and some stuff from Parallel Works. The retail price of the book is $59.99. And this is a softcover edition. I'm not sure if they ever brought the hardcover edition or if there even was one in Japan. Japan! So that's where this was originally published, and then it was brought over here just recently and published by Udon. Everything has been translated. So we're going to be talking about the build in a little bit, but cracking it open, and I'm sure you probably noticed that this is printed in the right-to-left format, just like most manga. And I say most manga because I'm looking at you, Blade of the Immortal. All right, let's crack it open and talk about this artwork in here. But before I do... If you haven't seen Tengen Taba Gurren Lagann, there's going to be spoilers in here. There's nothing I can do about that. And if you haven't seen the movies, there's going to be spoilers for the movies. This is more for people that have already checked it out or just don't care about spoilers then. All right, let's go ahead and crack it open. Okay, let's go ahead and crack it open. Oh, one more thing, actually, before I do. I wanted to talk about the dimensions of the book. Because it is very similar to the dimensions of a trade paperback in America. It's just a little bit longer. And just as tall. But it is a little bit longer. So the artwork is just a little bit bigger than that of a trade paperback. Now, we're not going to look at all the images. We're going to just look at some of them. And, of course, reminisce about this phenomenal series. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that... Tengen Top and Gurren Lagann is my favorite anime. I love it. It's not just my favorite guy in Axe uh, production. It's my favorite anime. I know it's hard to beat Evangelion and Gunbuster. Those were my favorites growing up. Or Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water. But there was just something special about this 27 episode series. And then of course the two movies. And then spun out of video games. And when we were in Japan we got to play some got uh, gotcha pawns. But here are some of the characters. Uh, some of the stuff in here comes from the DVD covers, from the limited edition DVD covers, from the limited edition Blu-ray covers, from the movies, and it was because it was released so many different ways in Japan. So in here you're going to see the classic characters, and of course pictures like this of Kamina and Simon. Such a beautiful moment right there. Was it episode 26, I think? And the main characters about the first half of the series. And then, when, of course, when everything changes after this. And the characters are grown up. And everybody is credited. So, they give the credits to the artist all the way down here. But the illustrations are done by these wonderful folks. Where each piece originally came from. And there's just some amazing pieces. And some that I've not ever seen. And I thought I had seen just about everything. There's some crossover pieces too. Like between Gurren Lagann and other Gainax works. And I love mashups like that. Because I've been following Gainax, oh my gosh, since the late 80s. And of course they're not even around anymore. Or a lot of them have joined different production companies. But there was something really special about them. Oh, yes. Um, so actually what you're going to get here is about... A hundred plus p 
pages of color artwork. So you're going to get artwork like this. Some of it is painted. Some of them look like cells. Some of them are movie posters. Some of them are just ads for particular episodes. And I think it's just divided perfectly. So you get that at the beginning. And then you get the character arts. So you get the breakdowns of the characters. And I mean, it is a deep breakdown. You get to see their expressions, close-ups of the characters. And here's our main three, Yoko, Kamina, and Simon. And don't worry, you get more of like future Simon later on and space Yoko's outfit. There's lead on. Buta gets his own little spot. Vidal. And there's Princess Nia. And then you even get Princess Nia with the haircut. Nice. Dayaka and Kitan and his sisters. Kiyo and Kial and Kinon are all here. There's Gimme and Derry and Roju. Yeah. It's the guy you learn to hate later on. There's old Coco. He has his own little secrets later. Man, I love this series. Uh, you have the bad guys. You have the villains like Lord Genome right there and all his generals coming up. And the creatures that live in this world. Uh, the different outfits. Each episode feels... <laughs> That's the onsen episode. Uh, that episode still cracks me up. Here's Simone in the last, or I guess the third act, right? No, no, Simone in the third act looks more badass. That's Simone when he's got all the civil duties. This is Simone when he's up in space in charge of Galaxy Gurren Lagann. Oh, and all the side characters. Now, if you're wondering, like, wait a minute, yeah, I like the characters, but where's the mech? Don't worry, the mech is all here. And it is detailed drawings of the mechs. And I didn't realize how much mech there was in this series. I think there's more mech pictures than character pictures. Just about everybody ended up with, like, one, two, three, four different versions of their mechs. Oh, love that one right there. But you get the enemy Gurens right here. Oh, I'm sorry, the gunmen. Uh, you also get, like, the props, so they even split up the props. So the props are back here. The Actually, let me just show you what I mean by props. Yeah, these right here. The headsets, the guns, the black siblings, weapons, and bracelets. Uh, you get the backgrounds. I'm oh, sorry, right here. To get all this in detail. Love that. And you do get more color artwork later on. And this all comes from the movie version of this particular mechs. So remember in the movie they were a little bit different. Like Yoko got her own mech and so did Nia. So that's all in here. And then the signs for the video games. Which I've never played so this is all new to me. The cards... The ending cards. There, Like I mentioned there's also parallel works. These are the storyboards right here. So the book itself has 488 pages. And a little bit about the book and the Gurren Lagann archives right there. The book has glued binding. And like I mentioned, 488 pages. It is printed in this really thick, glossy paper. So there's not really much bleed through coming from the other side. Now, one thing I did notice is that there is no table of contents. You just jump straight in with chapter one. But it is broken up into different chapters, like I showed you. You have illustrations, you have character guides, and then you have the backgrounds and landscapes and the mechs and things like that. But, man, this brings back memories. That, as they say, is that. If you're interested in purchasing this book, don't forget to check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Waltz Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you minties. If 
If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content, the page count, and build of this illustration book. Let me know in the comments down below if you have picked this one up, if you're a fan of art books, what your favorite art book is, whether it's an anime art book or a Disney art book or a manga art book. I'd love to know all those comments down below. And if you want to see more art book overviews on the channel, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you for watching. Everyone, smash that like button on the way out and make sure to check out our Patreon and Spreadshop. Amazing ways to support the channel if you can do so. Much love.